G'day Capricorn, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. So we're gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's see what's going on, hey? This tablecloth is nuts. <laughs> so this is the general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if there's something that resonates with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, share, subscribes, and views. Every single one of you, thank you. It's so appreciated. And of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below. All right, let's go. Message for you first Capricorn is. <laughs> It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So. You're feeling like it's safe to open your heart again to love. You've possibly done some, um, looked at your belief systems when it comes to love. Done some, um, work with your whatever religious belief you have or spiritual guides. Done some healing. Now you're ready to get it back out there and flirt with some people and enjoy some time with others. <laughs> enjoy that bliss, yeah, because you've released that ex energy doesn't mean necessarily an ex, but you've um, released that old energy and um, financial issues. You've made yourself more stable now after releasing that ex energy, that old energy of the past. So, yeah, you worked on your stability within yourself, which is good. I like that for you, Capricorn. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, you cleared that energy. The time came for you to clear that energy. So, now you're ready for love. Alright, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. If you're new to my channel, um, for the main read, I only take jumpers and flippers. Otherwise, I read from the bottom. It's all just the way I've done it. Just the way I do it. Two more, please, for this love energy coming towards Capricorn. Oh, there's one. One more. There it is. Okay. So, this tablecloth is driving me nuts. Oh, past life relationship, you've known each other before. Now, it could be someone from the past, or it could be someone in the past life, and you just feel like you know each other. So they feel like they already know you. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Same as you, they're opening their heart, feeling like it's safe to open their heart to you. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Ooh. It's gonna go with the flu. Alright. Oh, this could be someone from the past. We've got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Wow. <coughs> Sorry. So someone wants to reconcile with you someone you had a commitment with that they freed themselves from and were in separation they want to give this another chance wow they want to see where it goes with you Capricorn <sighs> hmm interesting As you know, if you've watched me before, this whole thing can change. <laughs> Let's see what we what we get. All right, give me a message for Capricorn at the bottom, please. 
Ten of Swords. Oh, you went through a painful ending here. It was a very painful ending here. Nine of Cups, but you've got your self-love back. After the tower fell. Yeah, Hangman. You've got a different perspective on life now and, and love. Got a different perspective on this love. Oh, you're still stuck on this love. Even though the tower fell. But you've done your work. You've got self-love here. With the Nine of Cups. It's normally a single person. Um, but you know how to fill your own cups. That painful ending taught you something to, to practice self-love here. The tower fell because it was stuck. It wasn't going anywhere, that love. Mm. Made you a wounded warrior. You're a bit defensive about healing this though, aren't you? <sighs> a bit conflicted about healing it. Mm. There's a healing with the star. you got a wish as well. Mm. Passionate message, page of wands, but yeah, you're undecided because it could just end up being another bit back to a burden again Well, will it be a burden or will there be happy ever after? Will you take that leap of faith or will you just move on from this? You're really trying to stay in control here because it's been doing your head in all right, let's get to them. Tell me about past life relationship for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Well, okay. Okay. All right. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Oh, come here. So they've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Devil card, which is your card Capricorn, but I don't like putting that on you. It's the Ten of Wands and the Hermit. So in the past they invested in this relationship but it didn't turn out to be too good, did it? It became a burden because of all the negativity between you two. Things that, shadow things that won't be being dealt with. So, they ghosted, possibly. They went into solitary. Solitary energy. They knew they had to go and do self-work as well. Yeah, because they, in the past they invested in a toxic relationship that became a burden. Could have been with you, could have been with someone else. Yeah, they closed out that cycle. The world, it had to end. That cycle had to end. Because there was indecision with the Two of Swords about the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Love and Stability. The Knight of Cups, Water Energy, and the King of Wands, wow, Fire Energy. So we've got all four energies here, we've got Air, Earth, Water, Fire. But we've got three people here too. Could be they couldn't decide who to commit to. Someone who showed actions of love or someone who was controlling their passions and actions. Yeah, it could have been third party, three of pentacles. The lovers, there was a choice to be made here. They held back, caused confusion with all these options here and were quite selfish. That's why it ended. They stood their ground on being selfish and it ended. Because they couldn't make a decision who to commit to. Or couldn't make a decision to commit and show love and control their passions. 
wanted to work on it, saw you as a soulmate, but held back, caused confusion because of their selfishness. <sighs> Judgment, they want to come back, they want another chance, hoping to get your attention. Six of Wands and hoping it will be successful in reconciling with you. Wow. Okay. Tell me about it. Say for you to love. For this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. got the king of pentacles earth energy it's your energy capricorn but then we saw the queen before now we've got the king oh there's that two of swords again and the eight of swords so they want to open their heart to you they want this stability with you, stable ground and commitment, but they don't know what you're going to say and it's doing their head in. They don't know if you're going to want them back. They don't know what, they're undecided about what you're going to say. It's doing their head in. They think it's safe to love and open their heart to you, but you, they don't know how you feel. And it's freaking them out. Queen of Wands. Fire energy again. Now they could see you as sexy. Passionate. Loving. Independent. Because she's not really the marrying kind. Or this can be the other woman as well. Or man. The mistress. Or whatever the male version of a mistress is. Um, they're confident as well. They're trying to act confident. They're trying to act confident. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Trying to act confident. But they're freaking out. The Chariot, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Star card, or the Stars. Um, yeah, they want this to move forward triumphantly with you, but they don't know. There's an indecision here, or are they still juggling? It's not anything new, so um, if they did have somebody else, you know about it. It's not something new, I'm telling you. They are juggling, you already know about it. Otherwise, it's, yeah, they want to move forward, but there's indecision here about whether you'll want a passionate new beginning with them. Will they get that? It is what they wish for, to heal this. Yeah, they're waiting to see if they can manifest this love back in again. <sighs> they're conflicted. That was the Five of Wands. Yeah, I know it was fast, but I saw it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're worried you're going to reject their offer. That you're not interested in their offer at all. Alright. Tell me about let go of control issues for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to let this unfold naturally, even if they do get left out in the cold. Hmm. They know they can't control this. They know that, you know, very easily they could get left. Oh, another five. Two fives. Five of Wands. That's what I saw flip up before very quickly <laughs> um yeah they're really conflicted 
about letting this unfold naturally because they could get left out in the cold and they're really conflicted about how they'll feel about that. Ah, hmm. Page of Cups or Princess of Chalices in this deck. Ace of Swords, Six of Cups and the Fool. Wow. So they want to send you a, a loving message or it could be an apology and the truth. Yeah, an apology and the truth about the past. So they can have a new beginning with you that's get your attention back and have successful a successful reconciliation here. And there's that King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. They see you as passion buddies, but they do want this happy ever after with you. But they know they sabotaged it by possibly holding back that love. King of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah, so you cut them out. Queen of Swords, Air Energy. And yeah, they were left hanging. But they're willing to try one more time for a stable beginning with you. But mm, apology and the truth for the past one may help. But new beginning, I don't know. Maybe a new beginning with you or without you. I don't know. It's up to you. <clears throat> yeah, and as much as they're conflicted about wanting to control this, they know they've got to leave that out in the cold. They can't try and control this. It's an extra message I got for that. Those cards. Alright. So. Message for you Capricorn is. Dragonfly spirit change. Starry night acceptance. Daffodil fairy new beginnings. And unicorn purity. This keeps coming out. This purity card. Thicket of Thorns, Uncertainty, and Spirit Guardian of Autumn, Letting Go. So you're not sure about, let, you're uncertain about letting this go. Hoping things can be healed or purified, you know. Trying to see the innocence of this, or the purity of the love between them. But yeah, you're because you're uncertain about letting go here. But you know things have to change. And you've accepted that. If there is to be a new beginning, there's got to be change. So, it can't be the way it was. It has to be change. Okay. Yeah, or else you're all going to... That's why you've retreated. Spirit Guardians of Winter. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks uh, so nice and cool. It's just so bloody hot here. Yeah. Yeah, you've retreated from showing your generosity to this person. You're taking charge of yourself with leadership. All right, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. What else can you tell us? Okay, how many is that before I continue shuffling? One. Two, okay. Oop. Whoa, okay. Well, that one landed on there, so I'm going to take that one. But this one also did fly out, which is Pegasus Transcending. So it's overcoming some obstacles here. They want to overcome the obstacles between you two, I would say. What do we have for them? These are beautiful cards. Hummingbird Joy. Hummingbird Spirit, sorry. Joy. Like beautiful. Rainbow Waterfall. Miracles. There's that butterfly. Transformation. There's two here. 
Rainbow Waterfall, Miracles. Uh, I think it might be a miracle. <laughs> and Eagle Spirit, Freedom. Ooh. They're looking for freedom here. And if I can read these this way, because they're standing out to me in that energy at the moment, um, they found part of the past, they did have joy, there was joy in the past, they want to try and remember that. As far as it being safe to come in and love you and what you're going to decide, they think they're going to need a miracle here. Um, but they are looking for freedom to try and control this. Alright, what's at the bottom? Standing stones, passage, spirit guardian of autumn, letting go, raven spirit, truth, and our spirit, wisdom. So passage is like the road you're going to take, which way you're going to go, and I think that they, um, they wanted to try and control where this was going, but they know they've got to let go, because they, they know that that's the truth the truth is you know the truth is they have to let go of trying to control where this goes they have to be wise about this and they do it they do it as a protection mechanism trying to build up their energy as they yeah been in refuge uh, since they've left hmm stability manifesting dreams hmm I don't know I don't know something doesn't feel right about this energy because mm. I don't see any healing I mean they've got there's the hermits there but that's in the past so I don't know have they gone within have they changed? Because it's got me worried with this conflicted about leaving the control issues out in the cold. Alright, let's get a message for you Capricorn. The Chariot. Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Wow, that was a... Wow, they said move on from that painful ending fill up your own cup and look for love start talking to other people <sighs> past energy yeah no you've been wounded by this past energy but you haven't given up hope of trying to reconcile this but i think you know it's not going to go anywhere you've gone within and thought about this it's your choice but Make sure they come correctly, air energy, and invest properly this time. Yeah, or what, are you going to invest in something that's toxic? It's all just about passion and control. Controlling your actions and passions. Don't be fooled. Get more information. <sighs> Get more information. Hmm. There's some more information. Stay strong. Tame that beast to go prick on. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to this soulmate. But it is your choice. Yeah, we have lots of soulmates though. Divine counterparts. People we're meant to meet. You know. Stay strong. Make the right choice. Alright, tell me about joy for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Whoa. The tower. Wow. I'm hearing their joy was destroyed. All that happiness they felt with you got destroyed when the tower fell hmm walked away eight of cups what no I'm getting that they find, have felt joy about this falling and walking away what 
Well, the joy was destroyed when you walked away. Well, they walked away. What's at the bottom? The Hierophant, Justice, Page of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Sun. What's on to that? Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, King of Coins. There you are, finally. Showing up. So what? There was commitment here. That was possibly balanced. Messages of passion that brought happiness. But there was too much love of passion and confidence with this person about the stability. They thought they could be stable on their own. But now, yeah, conflicted. Well, there was competition here. You were the stable one, and they kept secrets here. Very patiently spying and looking out for others, trying to have a new beginning. Yeah, con very in control of their actions and their passions, because, well, you'll know if there they definitely could have been them off with someone else. You might not have known about at the time, but you found out, and that's why there was a breakup. They're trying to come back. But there was joy in watching this tower fall and walking away. Yeah, I'm hearing that you thought this was a stable relationship, that things were balanced, but they were flirting with other people for fun. I don't like this. Yeah, the, and they left you hanging. Hangman, they knew this wasn't going to go anywhere. Yeah, they were off gallivanting around, flying around, making themselves happy. Made the judgment call to hold back from, yeah, hold back and leave people out in the cold. If they had to tame the beast, they'd just move on and leave a painful ending behind for their whoever their person they were with. The person that thought they were a soulmate. Yeah, I don't like this energy. I don't like them. Uh, I want to come back and just... I don't like it. Yeah. Could be about ego as well with the lions, very egotistical. Yeah, I'm hearing they'll be they'll be strong, they'll be fine if you move on. So don't worry about hurting them. Tell me about miracles for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. You can see why they think they need a miracle to come back. Huh. Nine of Swords, yeah. They're stressed out to the max, full of regret for what they did, and totally know they would need a miracle for this to work out. Because it's... <sighs> yep, regret over all the things that went through their head, all the things they said, everything that they... all the heartbreak that they caused, and all the... All the stabbing people in the back and through the gut as well. Like a punch in the gut. Ugh. Yeah. Page of Cups. Yep, they think it would be a miracle if you accepted their apology for all that that they feel guilty for. Water energy. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Ace of Wands, Page of Coins, Earth Energy, the Emperor, and the Magician. 
they want the passion back. They enjoyed the wand action. Um, maybe they think maybe seeing you face to face, they'll be able to get get back control and be able to trick you with their magic into a happy ever after. But it's 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 mind games manipulation. It's all self. It's they'll sabotage it because they're still keeping secrets here. Patiently waiting for another offer to come in. <sighs> this piece of crap. <sighs> yep, Ten of Pentacles. Yep, they know that you want stability and commitment. Long-term commitment. They're holding back from that. Yeah, they'll leave it out in the cold. Because they'd rather work on third parties and hold back their love, water energy, than heal this and it, to be successful. No, they'd rather stay in the disappointment and be a wounded warrior because that's all they are. Tell me about freedom. That's what threw me off right from the start, this freedom card. After that, let go of con Yeah, no. Nah. Tell me about freedom. For this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. And that's something flip. I'm not sure. Let's check. Mm, I think it might have. Something feels wonky here. No, maybe not. I'm so sorry about that. Mm -hmm. That must just be a bent card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Sorry about coughing then. Tell me about freedom. Oh, they don't want to talk about. They don't want me to talk about how they want freedom. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Yep, yeah, see? Five of Swords, I could have a sip of drink. Sorry, guys. Okay, back again. Yeah, Five of Swords. Freedom. They'll sabotage it <coughs> to have their freedom. They will self sabotage this connection because they want their freedom. It's all about themselves. Looking after number one, no matter what the cost. Walk all over you, doesn't matter. As long as they get what they want. <coughs> yep. Sabotage it, get their freedom, and off they go in their chariot. Moving on. Yep. Successful. Successful in their freedom. I mean, there's only one person in this chariot. Yep. <coughs> Strength card, Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Yep. I'm hearing it makes them feel strong. Something to do with their past. You know, to, to have these, all these love, people that love them from the past, and they keep breaking their hearts, and they go off and find new love. Always talking to multiple people, third party situations, with people who were stable and grounded. And when the truth comes, the, but the truth is they want to be single. Nine of coins. Yeah. It's all about growing the stability for themselves. Yeah. And that, you know, this is the thing, they just want to be single. They. They say they want this love and stability and growth with someone, but just wait. It'll, they'll end it and move on to the next lover that offers the awesome love. They'll flirt with them, control their actions. It, you know, it becomes a bit of a burden because offers of love are required, so they cut them out. Because, yeah, they cut them out without a second thought because they're invested in multiple people. <sighs> Capricorn. I'm so 
sorry. Do not play. You're looking for love, that's why you're here. Do not reconcile with this person. Yep, see, and that's exactly right. See, reconcile, commitment. No, nah, I'm going to free myself and separate from you. Yeah, let's get back together. Yeah, I want that commitment. Oh, no, I want to be free now. That's that freedom card. So, um, no. Nah. We're separated now. <clears throat> Definite in and out energy. All right, what would you like to say, Capricorn? How do you feel? I'm not good enough for you. I now know what I lost. I wish I had treated you better. I hope you can forgive me. Okay. I'm feeling this is sarcastic here. I'm feeling this is sarcastic. Um, you're definitely way better than this energy. Not good enough for you. Yeah, right. You might say that to them. I now know what I lost. Oh, but yeah, I'm not good enough for you. Um, I wish I'd treated you better, but and I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, but please don't give. See, some of these cards, when I shuffle them in the flip, when they flip out, they spin around and turn upside down. I always have my cards upright. This one is upside down. So please don't give up on me. Is reversed. So it's like, please do. Give up on me. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Capricorn. Yeah, give up on Capricorn, mate. We can work it out. <laughs> uh, but I'm not good enough for you. Your energy heals me. Um, That can go back down. I'm hearing that it's like, oh, we could work it out, but you know, I'm not really, I'm not really good enough for you. You know, you're trying to let them down easy, aren't you? Yeah, I just want to be single. Yeah, you don't want to be with this person. All right, give me at least three cards for what this love energy coming towards Capricorn would like to say to Capricorn. I know, it's been sneaky checking the bottoms before, but I'm, I get messages, yes or no, so. Hmm. Okay, they don't want to talk now. Doesn't surprise me, a lot of times the players don't want to say stuff, because I know that I will call them out. So it was one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So they have, I don't trust you. <laughs> That's a message to me. <laughs> they don't trust me. Well, I don't trust you either. Well, they don't trust, they don't trust anyone. This is the problem. They don't trust themselves. They don't trust anyone else. They don't trust you. They don't trust anyone. Can we talk? Oh, really? You want to talk? You want to come in and reconcile with Capricorn and then rip their heart out and go off and, you know, that's your joy, is it? Yeah, to cause towers and walk away. Can we talk? I'm sorry I hurt you. <laughs> right. I'm not good enough for you. Well, you got that one right, mate. You got that one right. Yep, that's right. You are not good enough for Capricorn. Nope. I blamed you, but it was me. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a cross watcher. If, you know, hopefully this isn't your energy. Um, but if it is, I don't care. You are not good enough for Capricorn. And the fact that you even blame them. But you knew damn well how much you enjoy hurting people. And you're freaking out because, you know, you're going to need a miracle to come back in again. But what? 
you're going to come back in just to sabotage it to be free again? Why even bother? Why even bother? That's, uh, you're just hurting. You're not sorry you hurt Capricorn. You're not sorry you hurt anybody because you keep doing it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that just came out. <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay. It had to be said for some reason. Yeah. Okay. So please don't contact me. No. I don't think they will. I feel safe with you. Yeah, because Capricorn is not going to hurt you. Like you hurt everyone else. I miss you. Oh, do you? And I still love you. Oh, really? I regret letting you go. Yeah, I bet you do. <sighs> but don't contact me. No, don't contact me. No, don't. Because I might be with somebody else. Trying to get back with them and see if I can go another round with that other person. Or maybe I'm trying to meet somebody new that I can start a whole cycle with of in and out energy. So don't contact me. You're just a piece of crap, aren't you? Alright, well that's your reading Capricorn. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I, I'm too old. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not old, 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 but, you know, I'm too old for friggin' Not a teenager that, like, you know, just wants to play around, and that's not what this channel's about. It's about love. People finding love, the love energy that's coming in, and this is a warning that this is not love. They're going to act like it is. And maybe on some level they care, but... The, the fact that, no, uh, no, no, they need some, do some help, some healing if they want love, because <clears throat> it's not good hurting people like that, but anyway, I've blabbed on enough, I just get annoyed with people that hurt, you know, hurt pe pe people, but, you know, the only way we can stop them is to stop putting up with them, don't take them back. If everybody stopped taking back the ones that come in and out, they'd have no one to come in and out with. They might actually learn something that doesn't work. Yeah, everybody should be queen of swords <laughs> when they first meet someone. Come correct or you ain't getting to my heart, mate. Simple. But, you know. Love, we don't choose who we love, unfortunately. That's what your brain's for, <laughs> to keep your heart from doing stupid things. Alright, well anyway, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, thanks for watching. And I'll do another reading in, oh, well, it'll come out in February. The month of love, number two, in the year 2022. Hopefully there's going to be love. We've got Valentine's Day too, so... I'm hoping February has love. All right. So clear the trash <laughs> to let love in. All right. Well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.